Numbers. A couple things that you have to remember. We're going back to periodic table, how it's arranged, how you come up with the actual, you know, that little number, minus one, plus one. Okay? So, we will always know, based on where elements are located, for example, SNO2. We know that oxygen is in what column? Six. Six. Sixteen, right? Yes. So it has six valence electrons. How many electrons does it want to gain? Two electrons. So these two electrons make this oxygen a minus two. That's the oxidation number for oxygen, minus two. Now the fact that we have two of them, it's like saying we have Sn, O, and O. Each oxygen has a minus two. So our total minus charge is minus four. We have to balance it out. So this has to be a plus four. So the oxidation number for tin is a plus four. Okay? Remember, in an ionic compound, ions come together, positive, negative, overall charge is what? equals zero. So we have a plus four, we have a total minus four, plus four, minus four is going to give us our zero. So that's how we assign the oxidation numbers. Okay, we're going to try a couple. If we have Al, Cl, three, we're first going to look Cl, column 17, minus 1, because it needs to gain one electron to get 8 valence. What's our total negative charge? Aluminum. Aluminum, there's only one of them. So the one aluminum has to have a plus 3. So these are our oxidation numbers. Al plus 3, chlorine minus 1. Any questions? So, let's look at this. Ionic compound, overall charge is going to be 0. If you have individual elements, oops, I can't spell individual. Or diatomic elements. How many diatomic elements do we have? Seven. Remember, there's seven of them. Individual elements or diatomic elements, if they're not in compound, have a charge of zero. Okay? So it's not until they get into an ionic compound that they have a charge. So what does that mean? If we have this, NaCl plus Ca, and we have an arrow, ionic compound, what made up the ionic compound? Positive and negative. Individual element, so this is neutral right now. These are charged, this is neutral. Okay? So you got to remember that. Have to find the oxidation numbers for this. This one has no oxidation number. It's like putting a zero up here. There's no charge to it. Okay? So if we want to find out the oxidation numbers for Na and Cl, 
Always look at the negative first, minus 1, plus 1. Does that make sense? So that's how we're going to assign oxidation numbers. That's good.